Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and these are your raw edits of the week, number 63, and we've got Adam Lerner here in the bottom corner. How are you this evening, Adam? Doing very well, enjoying looking at all of these awesome edits. I have to say, there are some really awesome, off-the-wall fun, and there are a few edits that we have to definitely comment on as things that scared the crap out of me. But what I'll tell you guys is, this is Adam's photo. That's why he's on the line here. After we're done talking, the second part of this video is Adam's raw edit of his own file, so we can see what he did there. So let's just jump through these. I went through and pulled some out. Adam pulled some out. So, you know, I pulled this out firstly. I like the color tone. I think the face was done very well. The crop is okay. What do you think, Adam, of the crop? Um, I don't mind the crop. I mean, it's a little bit tight. I I don't necessarily like that that they cut off her head as much. Um, But uh, it's probably three by two, hitting the X key. Um, so it kind of probably defaulted to that. Um, so, you know, I think that within that parameter, by keeping the aspect ratio, it works. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't think it's that bad either. Ho! Oh. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah, something happened there with the file when I took it out. Uh, we'll keep Did going. you step on it? I, d- I yeah. didn't step on it. I pulled <clears throat> this one because I, I actually I now see the lens flare they added. I'm not a big fan of lens flare, but I think that the, the way that it's kind of like Good a... lens flare? Uh, it's right here, right on her jacket, Wait. right on the... Oh, yeah. So there's lens flare coming in from up top. I like the way that this, what's going on here. I barely saw the lens for the first time, but I like the tones. I think it's a very nice looking edit. It almost looks like it's shot with a cannon. Yeah. Oh, hey, come on. Hey, and I have to say something else, Adam. Your light's yeah. looking very good down there. I, I like the split lighting you've got with that Westcott, whatever it is, uh, whatever it is. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I, I thought you were talking about the photo. You mean in, in the house? I mean in your house, yeah. yes. There is a little bit of lens flare um, just past her head. Um, that, 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 that was there, I think, in the file. Oh. But what's on her jacket I don't think was there as far as I know. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Um, all right. Let's move on to the next one. So this, you know, oh, okay. it's amazing. Look at the extremes. We go from one to the next, and you can see all of the different things you can do with it. They took the red jacket, they took the red yeah. out of it, and they made it gray. And I actually, I, I, think it, I think it works, Adam. Yeah. I mean, why not, you know? Um, you know, it's a little weird, you know, the yeah. black jacket and, and whatnot. But, you know, it, it's a cool creative ed- edit with selective coloring, and, and that's, that's cool that people are thinking that way. Yeah, I like the thinking outside. And then here we go from one to the next. Softer skin, softer Wait, eyes. go back, go back. Yeah, I thought that he did somebody. You see what they did? They, they thinned her face. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, <laughs> isn't it weird that you don't see it until you actually go back and forth? Yeah, I, I thought something looked different about it, but yeah, that's kind of crazy. Wow, they thinned out the cheeks to change the jawbone. Interesting. Yep. Um, I yep. like the color edit here. I think it's soft and clean. I like the yep. hair. I, this is one of the more uh, the straight up type edits, and I haven't seen what your solid. edit. I haven't seen really what your solid. edit looks like yet, but we'll get there. How about this? Oh. They added. Well, this would have worked. This would have yeah. worked if they didn't have the um, if the they didn't have the, the boca on the wall. Right. If, if the bokeh was really limited to that one little sliver of um, background, um, you know, particularly what's happening by her hair, yep. you know, that would have been great. But yep. it's still a very interesting idea. And, oh, hey, that's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. Nicely muted. Nice crop. Yeah, there is a crop going on there. They've moved her to the top of the frame more. I like, this, yep. I like the pullback nature of it. I mean, this was a tough file, I think, to edit because yep. of, you know, if you – you know, if I was to do it and pump up my contrast, that probably would have made the image very, very harsh. And in this case, right. it's a it's a better image when it's pulled back slightly. Yep. <laughs> ah, she looks uh, so French. Hello, Emine uh, Cousant. Hey, may I take your order, please? Uh, Le Royale with cheese. A fromage et croissant. Oh, sorry, fromage with cheese. Oh, wait, I just said cheese with cheese. I don't know my French. <laughs> je, cla- je m'appelle fronophoto.com. Au revoir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know my French. I just thought that was creative and fun. I pulled this because I think that the eyes were just yeah. too far gone. Um, you got to be very careful when you go after the eyes that they don't become like rogue style from X-Men. You know, it kind yeah. of looks like that because the eyes are just too fake. 
Too fake. Too vague. Agreed. Go ahead. Nice, clean, straight up. Um, you know, maybe too very, soft on the skin. I was gonna say a little too soft, um, but uh, not bad. Yeah, I like it. I like where it's where it's where it's headed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and the, and the color's pretty good. It's muted. It's pulled back. I love this. This is this is fantastic. Wow. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's a very nineteen four. If she wasn't wearing this jacket and this uh, boa, which she borrowed right. from my closet, by the way, it would have looked like the 1940s. Uh, it's a yeah. very nice job. I, I think this is very creative, really nice edit. One of the best ones I've seen from this week. Yeah, super cool. I like I like the kind of faux frame. Um, real nice. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> this is great. She's got the tongue, the blood wow. dripping down. I love these each week. And I have to say, I enjoy seeing the creative edits week in and week out. I like the normal ones because it's great to see what you do with it, but it's also a lot of fun to see what you do with these crazy edits. And 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 it's you're fully free to do whatever you want with the raw file. It is yeah. your raw file to play with, and that's the whole point of editing. You can turn it into digital art if you really want to. There's nothing stopping you. Look, the fact that people are just taking the time and having fun playing with it, you're only having a good time. You're only learning new editing skills. It's great. And th this is fun. I like it. I like that one a lot. And this is, oh. you know, <laughs> I love Terminator. Terminator is incredible. I loved T3. I like that one where they get stuck in that mountain. I wasn't yep. a big, big fan of the, the fourth one personally, but this isn't about the movies. Um, I think if I watched it again, I would like it. I like that right. edit. Very creative. I love seeing this stuff done. Um, and then we go from that to that. Boom, boom. Yeah. You know, it's pretty cool. This is just a, a, a generally nice edit. Very nice. A little, little bit on the pinkish, pinkish side. And a little too um, soft. I mean, the skin is, it's tough. It's a tough one. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I selectively softened yeah. the skin um, to keep other elements sharp. But, this, um, this is I, a warmer one. Nice. It's a warmer one. They've, it looks like there's a vignette down at the bottom. Yep, they added the vignette down at the bottom, not at the top, though. And you know, the thing about vignetting or putting a gradient at the bottom of the frame is that it really anchors a photo. Um, and it really, you know, can give you a nice foundation for building a photo, particularly when the light, you know, where it's coming from here. So I like what they've done here. I think that's really nice. Yep, very nice job. I, I picked this. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's just like, look what they did with the hair and the eyes and the face. It, it, it kind of looks real if you didn't have all the other ones out there, but it's just really, it's kind of crazy. And it's they went black and white with the jacket. The only thing about this is that it's taken to the point where like the skin is starting to look blotchy and that's something that I never like to see. Right, right, right. Uh, yep. This is a clean edit. I like the face. Yep. I like the shirt, the, the, the jacket, the boa. This is a nice, clean, crisp. I don't Solid. think the skin is overdone here. I think this is a nope. much nice, one of the nicer edits that I've seen so far. Very nice. Ooh. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> now in Journey to the Mountain number two in 3D. I'm a big Rock fan, Dwayne Johnson. I really like him, um, not just for the movies and the acting. I just think he's a really cool guy. I don't remember him showing up, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, he wasn't on the Frodo walk, but... Okay. And I'll say I'm a Vin Diesel fan. I know I'm going to get crap for that, but I like Vin Diesel. Um, interesting. A little. What, the, what happened with that eye over there? It looks like the eyes are a little too on the sharp side. Oh, yeah. It's a little wonky. A little wonky. It looks like it's kind of... Yeah, I, this one's great. I mean, you know, it's a nice kind of vintage photo frame. There's some text on there. It's That's beautiful. That kind of, yeah. It's I really, like this. It's really nice. I really like it. I mean, there's not much else to say other than it... it, it you know, sometimes you can take an image to a different extreme that others didn't think about in this case i like this and i'm not always a big fan of uh of um of uh, borders and and the, the the gimmicky stuff but i think it works well for this image whoa yeah yep, whoa this is a little this is when you take it too heavy. far this is a little heavy-handed heavy. on the edit because when you start to get the blotchiness in the face over here by the mouth the eyes are taken a little too far now we're not ripping on the file we're not telling you you did a terrible job just saying that no. for my liking it's a little too far and that, here, that's something i think adam brought this up when we were discussing this and picking up the photos uh, is that um if you think that you need to say that your file may have gone too far then it's it probably did. gone too far. Yeah. This is a beautiful edit, by the way. Look at this Very one. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure that I like the crop because of what it did no. to the hair over there, but this right. is a beautiful edit. I really and I'm really liking what what they did in this one. So nice job there. Very nice. 
I just wanted to go back for something. And I thought this was cool, too. They kind of oh, yeah. kept the, the skin tones and the colors there, even while muting out just the jacket, because they didn't take the red out in the image because the red is still there on the bricks. Right. It kind of has like a transfer effect or a plate effect. It's, it's called um, the 1980s, Adam. Oh. It, it's got that 1980s feel to it. I, I forgot about the 80s. You were, you were, that was your heyday. It had to be your heyday. <laughs> <laughs> a little before my time, but um, very nice. Very nice. Oh, squirrel! <laughs> Hello! Ah, I'm posing! And what did they do to her what, face here? Um, what did they do? They messed with her mouth and her eyes. They made her eyes bigger and changed the shape of her mouth. But there's a squirrel! So it's, I, I think it's kind of hilarious. I just It is. It made me laugh. This wow. is, I like this, too. Now... There's times that the softening can be taken too far, and I have to say that it works in this one for me. I really think that the softening works very well in this one. Sure. The color. I'm not crazy about the angle as much, but the, uh, yeah, the softening. Yeah, I got I to tell you, what, sometimes some people, present company maybe, show me those awkward angles on occasion, and it totally like, I'm like, no, turn off the screen because, because it's going to make me throw up that awkward angle. Yep. But that's just me. Um, I like the purple feel of this. It's, I, you know, I like the purple. Uh, yeah, it's all right. The purple of the jacket. I think that now it's that I... It's really super desaturated. Um, this yeah, is a solid cool. black and white. I nice think it's a thick black and white. Yep, solid black and white there. Uh, I like the color of the face. It's funny that they painted the wall and everything else purple. The color of the face is done really well. And this guy, this has that, like, rogue or storm or whatever they are from X-Men. Right. Um, but I think it's okay. I, I yeah. like the creative nature there. Hello! <laughs> Say hey, Vlasic Pickles, everybody! Get your Vlasic Pickles! Ah, say hey, ah, ah. I, don't, I don't remember her having the glasses and the, the, the mustache and the nose. But this works really well. This is a great job. I think the edit, I think the, it's a fantastic black and white edit to begin with, and it's yes. funny that they added that. Very and, nicely and done. And that takes us back to the very beginning, Adam. There we go. Well, so, great stuff. Yeah, thank you for doing this with me this week. Um, you sure, guys can pleasure. find Raw Edit of the Week 63 to download. But coming up right after this, we've got Adam's Edit of the Week so you can see what he did with his very own file. Don't forget to follow Adam on YouTube. Please subscribe to him. You can subscribe to me as well. And follow Adam underscore learner or at... Adam underscore learner on Twitter. And there you have it. Um, there so it is. I'm going to do my sign off now. And right after my sign off is Adam's edit. Jared Poland. Fro knows photo. Diat Kiam. Au revoir. Adam Lerner. And welcome to this week's raw edit. And this week we have a lovely portrait of Gail who showed up at the Friday, uh, not the Friday, at the Frodo Walk. That's right. She was at the Frodo Walk, who is, uh, she's a model, and uh, she was gladly, willfully, and very nicely posing for uh, a number of Fro readers, including myself, and I was able to make some portraits of her and share it with you guys to make some edits as well. I know a lot of you guys have uh, also taken some wonderful pictures of Gail and posted them as well. And, you know, to be honest, the, the photos from that, uh, the photo walk are just fantastic. It was incredibly good fun. It was so much fun meeting all you guys and just getting a chance to get to know a bunch of you and walk around and take some pictures and talk about photography. Um, I know I had a great time. So let's let's start with this image. Now, one thing that I have done is I have reset all of the sliders. I know that um, often Lightroom, uh, particularly Lightroom 3, will default to certain settings where the black levels will be at 5 and brightness will be at 50 and contrast will be at 25. Um, the point curve will be at medium. I wanted to basically flatten this image out as much as possible and to be honest this image looks seriously flat so what i want to do is i want to punch it up i want to give it some brightness i want to give it some warmth i really want to draw us more into gale over here so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to start by adding a little bit of exposure and i'm just masking things off here and uh, this shot you know it's kind of cool it was shot with uh, one off-camera flash that was being held by somebody triggered by a, a pocket wizard 
uh, I was shooting at one five thousandth of a second at f1.4, so we got that creamy, creamy bokeh um, and that real selective depth of field. Um, we've closed the shutter down so that we've got the background, you know, really darkened and blurred out. Kind of a cool shot. Um, you know, we were just experimenting around here. We have a few little harsh shadows over here. I don't mind it. I still want to keep things fairly uh, soft on on her skin. I'm going to up the blacks a little bit there, and you know already the the image is taking form. I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of fill here. We'll get back to that. Now let's get some brightness in there. Oh yeah, look what's happening with that. Look at that. Look at the skin tones really kind of opening it up. That's really nice. Now let's add some contrast. Oh yeah, that's looking great. That's really really super nice. You know, and it's interesting. I keep checking the numbers over here, but you know honestly. It, it shouldn't matter, you know, I mean, we've talked about this, we've talked about, you know, how all these numbers, you know, you, you get so locked into a default number, like if brightness defaults at 50, you should always be at 50. Not true, you know, I mean, it should, it should, you should get the exposure to a place that you like it, and that's really what's going to be most important here. So let's just keep playing with this. We're going to kind of do something like that. Clarity. Now, I don't want to go too crazy with clarity over here because I've already got, if we look at this over here, we've already, I mean, look, this, this image is so sharp that we've really got like all, every little pore in her face, you know. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of clarity, but I'm probably going to go into a brush tool and just smooth a little bit of that out. I mean, she's done a great job with her makeup. I like kind of like the redness in her cheeks over there. I also might want to bring out a little bit more of that beautiful bluish green color in her eyes. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to do something like that. Maybe just leave it right about there. Now let's look at this point curve here. Um, I think that this could use some more highlights and shadows. So I'm just going to automatically just hit the medium curve curve medium contrast and let's just see what strong looks like you know strong strong is a little bit harsh you know I'm gonna go medium there you know I, I, I actually like it I'm not gonna go crazy with this right here I mean there's a lot of different things that we could do I'm gonna keep it right about there I'm not gonna really touch the H HSL I don't really want to even do any split toning right now and I am gonna do some sharpening so we'll just grab an eye over here I'll just bring this up to about there and I'm just gonna mask it off and again, sharpening the edge detail and really not so much textures. Okay, so we're going to kind of leave it at about there. Now, I'm also probably going to want to do a crop. Um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, what this structure is. It may be a car. I love the way it's kind of dropped off on the bottom over here. I don't mind any of that kind of stuff. So I want to just kind of proportionately pull this whole thing in there. You know, interestingly, this could also work really well as a square crop. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd like to see, you know, maybe, uh, you know, how that would look as well. Um, so let's just see what that looks as a square crop. And, uh, you know, we'll just bring that over to here. And I'm bringing that up because I know I'm going to want to bring this in over here just to about there. You know, as a square crop, it's not too bad. Um, I got a little bit too much wall space over here. So I want to bring that over. Bring that up to her shoulder or something like that. Let's just see. You know, as far as headshots go, that's that's really kind of nice. You know, I really I really kind of like that. Um, you know, I think it's a, it's a pretty shot. Um, however, I think it's a little bit too to too close. So let's just go back in here, and uh, I'm going to reset the crop. Um, you know, let's just even see what what happens if we do kind of a, a, a rectangular crop over here. Um, and uh, let's just look in there again. It's it's a little bit too close for comfort with this composition. So again, I'm going to go back in, I'm going to reset this, and I'm just going to try to find a cropping uh, scheme that I like. I'm just going to keep bringing this in here. I want to keep her hair in there. I, I want to just kind of lessen the headroom just a little bit, something around there. Just wanted to get rid of that distraction. I don't know, it just kind of bugged me a little bit. Just going to keep bringing that in, and let's just see how this looks. I'm thinking that's probably going to do it pretty well for me. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, maybe a little bit more headroom, just a little bit more. Let's just bring that up just a tad, somewhere around there. Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm going to just work with that. In the interest of time and to get this video rolling, let us do that. So let's get in onto her face. You know, she's got very nice skin, young girl, but you know, we've got a lot of pores and because the light was coming across, it really highlights that. So I want to just smooth that out. So I'm going to grab the clarity tool. Um, I'm going to use soften skin. It drops the clarity down. And um, let's see, I'm going to reduce the size of my brush. I'm going to hit the O key for overlay. 
and I'm just going to paint this over the areas where I feel that the um, that you know it's just there's just a little bit too much clarity because of the way that the light was hitting across and just highlighting the pores on her skin and like again her skin is lovely it's just um, I just want to you know just smooth this out let's just say just give it a smoother kind of more fashiony look just something like that you know and look there's nothing wrong with this I mean there's no right and wrong here you know you can go crazy you could go the opposite direction completely and you could make it really harsh and you know whatever I mean there's there's no rules here I'm just kind of doing this in a way that I would like to see this image from when I first saw it out of the camera and I'm just going to keep painting this over here. And the nice thing about doing the overlay is you can see what you've done. You can see where you've painted. You can see where you've missed. And you can also see where you've gone over. And you can always erase if you've done anything. So we're going to get to that in just a second. But I just want to continue to just continue painting over the areas over here. I just want this to be nicely balanced. You know, I mean, that's really what this is about. Okay. So we're just going to keep balancing this out. You know, we're just going to go until we've pretty much got most of these areas covered and uh, let's see we'll kind of go like that we'll just kind of just do that and we might as well just pop over there we can always erase that if we're not really digging it um, let's see we just go reduce my tool here a little bit just paint that in there you know and there we go okay we're almost there guys just a little bit further a little bit more almost there you know it look sometimes this bit here is a little bit tedious but you know what the payoff is really in in your final result I mean sometimes you just have to keep going into you know editing your image here okay so let's see where we're at so we got something going on like that I'm just gonna uh, do a little bit of erasing on some areas that I didn't mean to paint over like her lips I want to keep the clarity on those and I'm just holding down the option key and that gives me the erasing ability over there. I'm just going to go over this a little bit on her eye because I don't really want to cover that and her hair over here. And, uh, you know, look, I'm not going to get too crazy with this. So I'm going to hit the O key again and I'm going to zoom out. And, you know, already I'm, I'm much happier with the way that looks. And, you know, if we want to see the before and after, we'll just do it like that. Okay, look at that before. Look at the after. Smoother, softer. Um, a little bit of a nicer look. So I'm going to close that tool. I'm going to open it back up again. And I just want to just give a little bit more punch to the eye because um, uh, I just want to bring out a little bit more of the color in there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the iris enhance, which does a whole lot of different things. And I know I, I don't want the exposure that high. I'm just going to bring that down to about 33 or so. And I'm actually going to go in a little bit closer. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to hit the overlay key. I'm just going to paint this into her eyes and once I'm done I'm just going to you know just take a quick look at it but um, I'm going to do both of her eyes all right so we'll get this one done let's go into the other eye just going to move over here and use the navigator which is a nice quick and easy way to move around when you're in a zoomed module and uh, let, let's just we'll just uh, get rid of the overlay and that's pretty cool. I mean, that definitely gives it more of a, you know, more of a punch. And I'm just going to zoom out of there. And look, we'll look at the before and after. And, you know, it's it's a little bit surreal. But at the same time, it's really cool. Um, I kind of like what we've got going on over there. I might just bring this down just a touch. I'm just going to bring it down to about there. I don't want it to be overly done, you know. I mean, th that's the thing about creative editing. It's like, you know, you can, you can take it as far as you want. But, you know, there's a point. You can get to a point of no return. All right, let's just keep that about like that. I love kind of like the haloing effect around her hair. So you know what? I'm just going to go and I'm just going to do a little bit of dodging here. I'm just going to lighten things up a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a um, kind of a shimmer, just a more pretty kind of beauty look to the hair, um, just to kind of just dance around on some of these highlights over here, um, something like that, just like there. You know, I'm not going to go too crazy here. You know, just, I know, look, this is this is what it takes. I mean, who knows? I mean, you don't even have to keep all these things. You can scrap it too. I just want to get a little bit more shimmer on her hair. So I'm just going to pop that up to about there, maybe 26. Who knows? Just add a little bit of clarity, a little bit of sharpness, and just a hair of contrast over there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of my overlay tool. And I really like what that's done. Let's just check it out, the before and the after. 
yeah, and it just kind of brings things up. You know, I'm just going to bring the exposure down just a touch, a little bit much, somewhere around there. Let's just see what happens when we add contrast. Yeah, you know, I don't really like what's going on with that. So yeah, just a little bit of that. Just just something right about there. All right, now, let's just think about the white balance. You know, right, right out of the camera, it's not too bad. I just want to give it a little bit more warmth, okay? I'm just going to bump that up just a notch, somewhere around there. Something like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, you know, and uh, let's just give it just a, a hair more exposure. Wow. Now let's look at the before and let's look at the after. You know, the difference is pretty stunning. Um, you know, it's, it's maybe a little bit washed out. You know, let's just kind of split the difference over here a little. Whoop, hey, look at that. I didn't mean to do that. Split the difference over here. And, uh, you know, I, I think a little bit of post-crop vignetting because we've got some natural vignetting from the lens over there. So I'm just going to pull this in over here, somewhere like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Yep, 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 yep. Let's take the roundness. So I just want to kind of bring it down to like maybe the top of her head and just feather that out just to give it a nice smooth kind of a look to it. And that's not too bad. The only thing I'm thinking is it's a little bright over there. So I'm just going to darken that a little bit. So I'm just going to hit my burn. And um, again, you know, just hit, grab the overlay. The good thing about the overlay is you know exactly where you've done this, you know, so that if you want to reverse it, you can always do so, you know. And again, that's the, the other thing about Lightroom is that it's non-destructive. Your original file is always intact. That's why we recommend that you save a snapshot, you know, when you when you do an edit to a certain point because you can always, you know, revert back to something else. I'm going to turn the overlay off and I'm just going to bring that down just another hair, something right about there, just to give it a little bit more balance. Something like that. Yep. I'll just bring that right. No, nope. too much, too much, too much. All right, let's just see that for a minute. We're going to close out of that. Boom. I, I really like what we've got going on over here. I think that that's really pretty. We'll look at the before. We'll look at the after. Really, really super nice, smooth, really nice eye contact, nice shimmer to it. So I'm going to save that as snapshot number one. And let's just see quickly what a black and white's going to look like here. So we'll hit the V key. Boom, look at that. Man, that is really super, super nice. I'm just going to add a little bit more contrast to this. Oh, wow, look what's happening here. I mean, just that is just stunning. Just add a t touch more fill somewhere around there. Maybe a touch more clarity, something like that. And, you know, let's just add just a hair of toning. Let's just see what that looks like. No, nah, let's just see this other toning. You know what? I'm going to undo both of those. I'm just going to keep this straight on black and white. Just a nice, a nice bright shot. Um, I really like what's happening over there. I might just do a touch more vignetting. Just bring that in just a little bit tighter for the black and white. Something like that. And you know what? Let's save that as our black and white. And I'm going to, at this point, take it and send it off to Jared. See what he's got.